I'm News for Jax, Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Wednesday is a big day in the weather community around the world as the World Meteorological Organization will continue meeting. And one of the big topics on Wednesday will be the retirement of named storms across the entire globe. The National Hurricane Center does not name storms. The World Meteorological Organization does. And the biggest topic will be Ian, which is almost certainly going to be retired as we move into Wednesday as a major, major hurricane. So how do hurricanes get retired? We first off have to talk about how hurricanes get named. This was the 2022 hurricane list that is out from the WMO for the North Atlantic Basin. And you can see Ian is right there kind of center in your screen. Ian uh, and Fiona and possibly Nicole, those will be the three storms that could end up being retired here in the next week or so. And what ends up happening is this list is the same list. In fact, we have a series of six lists that are used in the Atlantic Basin and they repeat themselves. So this list will come back up in the year 2028. The only difference is Ian will almost certainly not be on the list. So that's why sometimes names like Alex and Bonnie, which are weak, sometimes tropical storms. Sometimes you may see Bonnie pop up once again. Well, Bonnie will almost certainly be on the list again in 2028. We retired named storms for two key reasons. One, we don't want any confusion between different major hurricanes. If we have an Ian in 2028, we don't want people confusing it with the Ian of 2022. Also, it kind of separates hurricanes. Hurricanes get retired due to the fact that they've done very significant structural damage and they've done significant loss of life. Ian, unfortunately, did both here in Florida and in Cuba. And so it's going to be a very, very high, quali or high quality candidate for retirement. And this is just some of some of the damage that Ian hit across parts of the Sunshine State. The biggest headline was catastrophic storm surge here in the Fort Myers Beach Sanibel area. 10 to 15 feet of surge was reported, and that surge moved up the Caloosahatchee River and flooded much of downtown Fort Myers. In addition, we had hurricane force winds and major hurricane force winds across much of the Fort Myers and Port Charlotte metropolitan area. Some historic flooding in Daytona Beach, Orlando Metro, where some areas picked up almost 20 inches of rainfall. And here in Northeast Florida, we had some significant beach erosion, even some structural damage of homes and buildings that were right up against the Atlantic Basin. And it's not uncommon to see the I name storm get retired. In fact, of all the letters, the I name storm is the most frequently retired. It has had 13 name systems that have been retired by the I name storm. The second most frequently one is the C and F storm, which have nine retired. The D storm has seven retirements, and the A storm has seven retirements as well. And kind of when you stop and think about it, this makes sense. Some of the blockbuster hurricanes you think about Andrew, Katrina, Irma, Sandy, those storms you never hear about again because we don't recycle those names. So bottom line, Ian is one for the record books, and it's going to be put in those rep record books permanently, it looks like, by the WMO on Wednesday. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd for Channel 4, the local station.